Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have a barbecue sauce to review for you guys. Something a little bit different, and I'm telling you, this is a good one. Uh, this is Big Daddy Hills barbecue sauce, and the flavor I'm going to be doing today is Jay's Jammin' Jamaican. All right, comes in these beautiful, large, 15 ounce size bottles. Now they've got a saying, better, fresher, bolder, backyard barbecue. Big Daddy Hills Gourmet Barbecue Sauce and Rubs. And this was sent to me uh, from the owner, Lee Hill. There's a picture of him right there. I think he's complaining about the small fork that he's using. He needs a bigger fork. Um, and it says here that they are family owned uh, and our company's beginnings are ones founded in some of my favorite childhood memories, enjoying good food with family and friends. No matter what was being cooked or who you were cooking with, there was always a secret technique, ingredient, or sauce. The result of these experiences was creating a unique and secret sauce of my own. Now, I want to read the side here on this bottle. It says, I grew up in North Carolina. Now, if you're from the Carolinas where I live right now, you definitely know something about barbecue, that's for sure. Uh, one of the most valuable lessons I learned as a kid was at my grandma and Papa's house. If you made great barbecue, you will have friends for a lifetime. After traveling all across the USA, I settled in West Jordan, Utah, and I have continued to rely upon my barbecue creations to make many friends and keep them all smiling. Now that's awesome. Now they believe in using only the boldest, freshest gourmet ingredients, and the result is a memorable mouth-watering experience that will keep you coming back for more. And they say here on the side of the bottle with these little pictures, it's going to pair with pork, chicken, beef, and fish. Now, I just happen to love jerk sauce, uh, so I was very intrigued by this particular flavor, uh, the jam and Jamaican. I love Jamaican-style food. I love jerk sauce, so this uh, uh, really sounded good. Let me go ahead and read the ingredients on this one. Uh, we start off with... Uh, Kind of your uh, basic ingredients for a, a barbecue sauce. We have tomato puree, brown sugar, molasses, distilled vinegar, natural smoke flavor, spices including scotch bonnet, pepper, salt, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, cornstarch, and then in parentheses, non-GMO. Okay, that's good. Gluten-free, no MSG, no high fructose corn syrup. Awesome. All right, well, just check out the color on this, guys. Just a beautiful, dark, rich looking uh, sauce. Now, one thing I really love about this sauce is that it doesn't come across as your, your normal sticky, shiny, uh, thick uh, barbecue sauce, you know, with, with molasses and, and sweeteners, things like that. Uh, this has a different look to it. It's got kind of a chunkiness to it. It's got the, a little bit a little bit of um, substance or a little bit of grittiness to it, which I mean I mean by the ingredients that it's not just silky smooth like a lot of barbecue sauces. That's why I like it or what I like about it. Now the aroma on this stuff is just amazing. The first thing you get is those um, Jamaican jerk uh, kind of flavors, aromas. And you know, you get the normal um, sweet tomato-based, molasses, brown sugar type barbecue aroma, but at the same time you're getting a nice uh, spicy uh, Jamaican jerk type um, aroma to it as well. Now it just says spices in here, scotch bonnet peppers are in here of course, but probably the spices that are giving it that flavor, what goes into, or aroma goes into kind of a jerk sauce is like uh, maybe allspice or, or thyme, uh, possibly cinnamon. I'm not really picking up on cinnamon, but you just get that real recognizable jerk aroma. And it's just got a great combination of a nice, slightly sweet, smoky barbecue sauce. And then at the same time, the aromas of a jerk sauce, just like it's perfectly balanced. All right, well, let's go ahead and show you what this one looks like. And as you can see here, kind of how um, a little bit chunky, you know, once again, not just that shiny, smooth silky barbecue sauce but uh, it's got a little bit of a substance to it all right here we go mm. wow mm. this stuff is absolutely incredible 
fantastic flavor. You got a little something to chew on in there. The flavor on this stuff is incredible, guys. You get, like I said, and with the aromas, you get the taste and flavor of a nice, slightly smoky, slightly sweet, not not too sweet at all, barbecue sauce. You know, the tomato puree base to brown sugar, molasses type barbecue sauce. But then at the same time, you're getting that jerk sauce type um, flavor. Um, perfectly balanced. You get you get the best of both worlds like that. So if you enjoy a nice, thick, sweet, tomato-based, uh, molasses, brown sugar type barbecue sauce, but you want something more, uh, the Jamaican flavors on this is just incredible. So this is just, you know, like a Jamaican flavored or jerk sauce type flavored barbecue sauce. Absolutely incredible. Just love this stuff. And so what are you going to do with a barbecue sauce like this? Well, you got to make some jerk chicken. So here's a picture of some jerk chicken thighs that I made. Also had some fresh scotch bonnet peppers uh, there and also some um, rice and pigeon peas. And that's one of my favorite types of meals is uh, that, that uh, jerk chicken with rice and pigeon peas. Just awesome. Um, amazing stuff, Lee. You did a great job on this one. Uh, highly recommended. This is definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for flavor. This is a bomb. And on heat, um, I guess if there's anything that I would recommend, maybe I would have liked to have seen the heat a little bit more pronounced uh, because it's got scotch bonnet peppers in there, but uh, very, very low on heat. I would just say 2 out of 10 on heat. So this is something everybody could enjoy. So uh, highly recommended stuff. So check them out, guys. Uh, BigDaddyHills.com is the website. You can also find them on Facebook, so give them a like there as well. Lee, thank you very much for sending it. I appreciate it. Everybody stay tuned for another review. Where I'll get into Big Daddy Hill's Ghost Pepper Barbecue Sauce. So looking forward to reviewing that one. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you on the next video.